Hello and welcome to today's mini lesson from the GCSE PE portal. Today we're going to be looking at the functions of the skeleton, for which there are seven. And I'm going to run you through a sentence or a paragraph that, if you remember, will jog your memory of the seven purposes or the seven functions. There's also a nice little acronym which I'll use, which is MAPS, uh, which I'll get to in a moment. But the sentence you need to remember is, is as follows. Movement is possible in the body because muscles attach to our bones. Organs are protected behind the bones around them, and to keep us healthy, bones produce white blood cells. They also store minerals that we can access and use around the body. Everyone is a different shape, and in order to produce movements, bones support weight. So I'll break that one down one by one. We've got M-A-P-P-S-S-S. Maps. So our first one there, movement. I'm going to put move here. Muscles attached to bones, muscles contract and shorten. As they contract and shorten, they pull on the bone, moving it. So we wouldn't be able to move unless we had a skeleton. So movement is our M. I've already mentioned that, muscles attach to bones. So I'll put attach down here. So we've got movement, attachment. Now it doesn't just have to be the muscles that attach, I mentioned organs before. So organs are attached to some bones, and the bones around those organs help protect the said organs connected to the bones. So we've got movement, we've got attachment of muscles and organs, we've got the protection of the organs and soft tissues that reside in and around the bones, Next up we have produce or production. I'll just put produce here. So inside bone we have bone marrow, and bone marrow can produce white blood cells. White blood cells are, in, are well, not just important, they're essential for our life because they help combat infection and disease which enters our body. So we've got movement, attachment, protection, production. Next we've got storage. If I just put down store, because bone contains calcium. Okay, calcium is a, is a large proponent of what bone tissue is. So when we need calcium around the body for chemical reactions, when, then we can break off or break down parts of bone to release the chemicals that they store so that we can continue chemical processes and live around our body. Next one, we have shape, because everyone looks different. Yes, everyone largely has the same bones, or not just largely has the same bones, but the majority of people will have the similar shape. But there's slight differences. Some people are taller than other people. Some people have wider arm spans because their bones are slightly longer. Facial features might be different because the bones in their head and their cranium are a little bit different to someone else. So each bone gives each person their own unique shape. And the last one we have is support. In sport, as we move, then there's going to be different forces and weights that bones have to bear. They have to actually support the movement actions, and if they don't, then we're either going to crumple onto the floor, or bang, or bones are going to break, and you know the sporting movement isn't going to be possible. And that's that. We've got M A P P S S S or maps. Movement is a, is possible because muscles attach to bone. Organs are protected by the bones. The, bro the bones produce white blood cells to keep us healthy. They also act as a store of calcium and minerals that we use around the body. They help give everyone their unique shape. And in sport, bones offer support. And that's that. Maps the seven functions of bones. Hope that helps. I'll see you next time.